In this video, we are going to have a look at how to enable the sudo command on a Windows 11 machine that is running the insider preview version. So that's 24H2. So the sudo command will be baked into the next release of Windows 11, which is 24H2, which will come out in the second half of this particular year. So it is coming, but if you want to take advantage and have a play with the sudo command, you need to be running the insider preview version of Windows 11, which is of course free to join and you can use the machine and test out the future of the Windows builds that comes out from Microsoft. Now to set the scene, I have a machine over here which is running Windows 11 24H2. So just to confirm, let me just go into the command prompt, type in win version to bring up the version details. There it is, Windows 11 24H2. So this is a inside a preview. It was it is an evaluation copy as you can see. So let's close out of it. Now normally if you want to run any commands that needs admin privileges, you normally open up command prompt, right click it as an administrator so that it gives you the elevated privileges to run any kind of commands that requires um, administrator rights. With the sudo command that goes away, there are two ways by which you can enable the sudo functionality within Windows 11. One is from the command prompt and the other one is by using the settings panel. So let's see both of them. So first of all, the graphical way of doing things. So let's go into settings, click on settings and we go into system on the left hand side, scroll down and we wait for the four developers option. So click on the four developers. And further down, the last option pretty much on that particular section is enable sudo. So if you click the drop down, it also gives you the option to configure how sudo runs various applications. So in order to turn it on, we toggle the option that we have and we click on yes, enable the sudo command. Now it gives you three options by which you can run the command. Do you want to run the sudo command that you run in from the command prompt in a new window or do you want to just run it in the same window as an inline one? The recommended option is always to go with inline. So let's click on inline. So that's sudo command being enabled. Now, how can we do the same thing from the command prompt? So let's close this off by disabling the sudo command. Let's go into command prompt as an administrator for the last time to set up the sudo. So let's click on command prompt, right click and set run as administrator. I click on yes for the UAC. Now we have the command prompt as an, as an administrator, so in admin mode. So in order to see the configuration, so let's just type in sudo dash h. So this is the help from sudo. So now it says it is disabled on this particular machine. To enable it, go to the developer page settings in the settings app. So we have seen that particular option. Now let's see how we can do the same from the command prompt. So let's type in sudo config dash dash enable. So this is we are trying to enable and we want to have it in line. So we just type in normal. So it says over here sudo mode set to inline mode. So if you want to have it in a different window, which is not really preferred because it opens up in a new window, it kind of disappears and you are kind of in a limbo state as to whether it has run the command or not. So you just want to see it in the same window where you execute the command from. But if you do want to have it as a different window, the command that we have is sudo config dash dash enable and we say force new window. Let's type that in force new window. Now the command is case sensitive, force new window. There you go, sudo mode set to force new window mode. So let's put it back to normal so that we can just run it from the same window. And now let's go into the help option by running dash h. So here we have the help options. Um, we have the run, we have the config which we have seen, we have the help, and these are the different values like new window, disable input, the help, the version. So we can Take a look at that. Now let's see whether the help is case sensitive as well. So let's just type in capital H. So it is here. So you need to have small h and then from then on, any commands that you run once you are in here is not case sensitive, any Windows commands that you run. So let's um, come out of the administrator mode because we want to test whether we can elevate our privileges by being in a normal, ad normal command prompt. So let's click on command prompt. So there you go. So it's, it's a normal command prompt, not elevated. Now let's go back to the C drive. Now let's type in the IR. I do have a file there called sudo test.txt. And since it is within the C drive, by default it doesn't let me delete that particular file. So let's try that, delete sudo text. And it says access is denied. So now with the sudo 
functionality been enabled, which is pretty much common uh, in the Linux Unix world and which has been in that Linux Unix world for the last you know, decade or so. Uh, it's finally over here. Let's just see what happens. So let's type in sudo in the beginning and say del for delete and sudo test.txt. And the UAC comes up. You click on yes to that. And there you go. The command has successfully completed. If you don't have the UAC turned on, you know, if it is your own personal machines and you have it disabled, then the command just runs. You know, you don't get the prompt at all. So that's how you enable sudo functionality within Windows 11 inside a preview, which is 24H2, which is coming in the next half. And there's two ways of doing it. One is by turning it on from the developer's options within settings and system. And the other one is by using the command prompt. So, you know, life is going to be much more easier with the sudo command as an administrator going forward. If this video has been informative for you, do check out my other videos in the channel and consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Intune, Azure, Windows, PowerShell and general ID stuff. Thank you.